All right. Back to the PowerPoint here. Points on a curve. Okay, how do you get them evenly spaced? A lot of times when you're drawing a spline, uh, the points that you have to lay down to accurately create your spline or to get the geometry that you want from your spline uh, do not necessarily match up with where you might want to put intermediate profiles if you were lofting or if you're sweeping. Okay, so one of the things that you can do is to again utilize that point tool. I know it's crazy, but that point tool is extremely handy. Okay, so let's go back to our SolidWorks and I'll sketch up a part like that. File new part in millimeters. Uh, for some reason my control went muted there. I apologize. Uh, I think that you guys can hear me now. Is that correct? I think so. Okay. Thank you, Rob. I appreciate it. All right, so uh, going back here, we're going to go back to over here to the front plane. I'm going to start a sketch. I'm just going to kind of sketch this spline out here. About like this. And just manipulate it so we get a little bit more of a subtle arc here. Okay, so with the spline, you know, you can always come in here and right click and then you can say, you know, ins insert a spline point at any, at any point that you then click on the spline, you know. But there really is no way to then, I mean, other than to dimension it orthogonally, to evenly space those points out along the line, unless, or the spline, unless you use the point tool for reference geometry. So you have to exit the sketch. Come in here to the Features command, Reference Geometry. Again, you pick Point. Let the screen catch up here. All right, and this time you're going to want to use this uh, along the curve. Okay, so you click that little guy, and we can evenly distribute, as you can see, the amount that we pick here. Maybe we want to do five of them, and then you just pick the curve, and then it evenly distributes points throughout that line. Okay. And like I say, the handy thing about this is, let's go back and view our points. We'll turn those on so we can see them. The handy thing about this is now we can put planes in order uh, to, you know, loft between. And we can utilize those planes and make them normal to the sketch or normal to the, to the path at those, at those points. So if we grab our plane tool, right, let's say we want one in here at point three. So I pick the curve and then I pick the point. And it makes the plane normal to the curve at that point. Say, so, okay, maybe we'll do another one of those. That's geometry, plane, the curve at that point. Okay. And you can do this all along the curve at whichever point you pick. Okay, and again, where this is handy is if you come in here, and you create your profile sketches on those various planes. So just finishing up my quick design here. Now I'm going to choose to loft between these profiles. So I'll exit my sketch environment. We'll say features, loft at boss base. And we'll go from each one of these points here.
All right, so that's how you evenly distribute points along along a curve or along a line, and then you can obviously, you know, create your reference points based on those points in the curve. All right, and you can see that's where we come with that slide.